Well, as you know by now, my name is Jacques Blackstone and I'm running for mayor of Maple Ridge. So uh, you want to find out a little bit about me, my history, who I am? Well, here we go. I'm 55 years old. I'm a single dad of two teenage boys that are 14 and 16 years old. I live right here in Maple Ridge and have for about 20 years and I love this place. My parents are immigrants from the former Yugoslavia and were stationed in Paris waiting for their Canadian papers and in the meantime I was conceived and born and hence the French name, Jacques. When I was five months old, we moved to Montreal, and yes, I speak French, it's my first language. Je peux parler français, puis je peux parler québécois en même temps. And since my parents are from the former Yugoslavia, I also speak Serbo-Croatian fluently. We moved to California when I was nine years old, and that's where I learned to speak English. Oh, there's a fun story there. We lived in that area for about four years due to the nature of my dad's work. Uh, we also lived in Dallas, Texas for about five years, and that's where I attended university. I attended North Texas State University, it's now known as the University of North Texas, and I was a major in music composition with a minor in classical guitar performance. I left university after second year because I realized that an arts degree would only get me a job as a professor working at 7-Eleven, and uh, I decided to go on my own and try to become a rock star and start some bands. That's pretty much when I moved to Vancouver was in 1986. I worked at Expo at Canada Pavilion as the chief technician at the age of 19 years old, and I actually wrote the software that operated most of the pavilion, Canada's Celebration all the way into Earthwatch. If anybody remembers that one, I was the one that was running it. Vancouver had an amazing music scene back then, and I had a few bands, and we had mild success, and I've had a bunch of my music that's in TV shows and, uh, and movies as well that were created out of Vancouver, and I still get royalties today. Some of you might know the Banff Mountain Film Festival. Well, I'm the guy who wrote the theme back in 1997, and they still use it today. For a couple years, I worked as a sound engineer at Pinewood Studios, and then I went out on my own and started my own recording studio in Vancouver, and I did a few independent movies, sound for independent movies, and one of them, the movie Kiss ended up giving me a genie nomination for the sound work that I did on the movie. I didn't win it, but hey, it was a little bit of recognition at least. My father's work was designing and installing and maintaining movie theaters. I being a musician at the time, I wasn't overly interested in working on 35mm film projectors because realistically it was pretty much like a oily transmission. And uh, But in the meantime, while he was taking care of business, our film industry in Vancouver was booming and he would send me along with projectors when they had a need on set to go and deal with those crazy people. Well for me, that was just right up my alley. So in 1997, when uh, I'm now in my early 30s and I'm still a striving musician and, uh, well, when you're doing a musical career, your income is not that fantastic. My father did offer me if I wanted to take over the family business and I did and it was under one pretext that I let go of the independent theaters and I concentrate solely on the film industry. I'm proud to say that I created something that are called daily trailers that ended up me having, having worked on over 130 major feature films. My list of clients has been phenomenal. The people I got to know have been Academy Award winners, some of the top directors in the world, directors of photography, editors, just the people behind the scenes that are phenomenal. Of course, I met a ton of stars, but I'm not a starstruck type of, type of person, but uh, it's always cool to kind of meet them. But uh, I've had an amazing career. The industry had a major shift in 2004. As you know, everything turned digital and uh, we have high definition today. And today, my concentration in my company is I design and I install high-end screen rooms to post-production facilities across Canada. Canada, these are the animation studios that create all the visual effects that you see in the big movies. I'm not going to get into the technical details as to what a screening room is, but basically, it's a perfect movie theater with perfect color and perfect sound. I pride myself that I can think outside the box. I pride myself that I know where to spend a buck and where not to spend a buck. How to maximize my profits. So part of this is what I want to bring to Maple Ridge with what I mentioned before about overseeing the, the contracts, the invoices, uh, the bids that are coming in. I'm going to question a lot of things. Why my involvement of being a mayor right now? Back around 2007, 2008, I was a target of bylaws from Maple Ridge for my daily trailers that I had in my yard. Uh, some of you might remember the battle back then. Uh, it exploded into all the RV trailers that were being ticketed and tried to remove off the property. In my fight with the city, which lasted two and a half years and basically won in the end and uh, they went away, I discovered a system, a legal system called the Bylaws Dispute Adjudication System, uh, BDAS for short. Some of them knew it as badass. And um, go look at my video about it in uh, my uh, my tab in my website under BDAS and uh, look at the videos to understand better what I'm talking about. I fought the system, I stopped it in Maple Ridge, which stopped it in many other municipalities past us, but uh, the people that were mayor and council back then decided to vote it in on their parking tickets because they thought it was a good idea. I want to reverse this system. Uh, you need to go look at the video and inform yourself a little bit more. It's time to get involved because the last two and a half years, what's been going on in Canada and all around the world is absolutely insane. And we need to bring some sense of sanity 
back into government. And that's why I'm going in at the grassroots level because I have no party affiliations and this level government should have no party affiliations. The main reason I'm doing this is I'm doing this for my two boys, my children, to leave them the same Canada that I had in growing up. Quick side note, back then when my battle with bylaws, I went to go see a lawyer in Port Moody that dealt specifically with bylaws. And the question that I had asked the guy, because three times I had a bylaws agent walk onto my property uh, un uninvited and put his hands over my fence and take pictures of my trailer in my backyard. So asking this bylaws lawyer this question, I said, does a police officer or a bylaws officer in Canada, don't they have to have a warrant to be able to enter your property or your residence? He told me that in Canada, the police do, but a bylaws agent can walk onto your property or your residence at any time they wish without just cause. That was the moment that my head spun and I heard a lifetime of stories of my parents about the Germans coming through town, World War II, all the horrors that happened and then communism coming in and the properties being taken away to picturing my now, my kids that were three and five years old in their 20s with balaclavas over their faces throwing Molotov cocktails to get their rights back. That was the moment that I said, no, I'm going to make sure that my children have the same free Canada to grow up in that I have. My children are in their teens now. I'm ready to throw my hat in the ring, not just for mayor, but I want to take this to the next level from here on to Premier of BC and then Prime Minister of Canada because we need to bring the Canada that we all knew back. This can be done. The system is not broken. The system has just been used by corporate interests and outside interests like the World Economic Forum and other organizations. But now it's time to change things. So I'm hoping that I can be that proverbial change we've all looked for. So there you go. A little bit info about me, who I am, why I'm doing this. Contact me, ask me, ask me any questions you have. studio i just moved so i'm still setting up i ride a motorcycle my beautiful harley davidson no expensive car for me this is my ride cost me under five thousand dollars and the proud father of two proficient gamers sure and in the winter time i love to downhill ski there you go there's a little bit about me there's a lot more that's enough for now